Yeah, it's been a while. But what are we fixing today? Well, today I bought myself a weather station. And I've had it here for a couple weeks. People online have been bugging me, and I've been doing some this and that. Like I've been doing for about the past eight months since you yeah, haven't seen me, you know. But I'm back, I'm here, hey. So, weather station, let's take a look at it. This is what I bought. It is an EcoWet. Uh, I really wanted the Tempest. I decided to go for the EcoWit because it's like an extra hundred bucks. And I don't know if I wanted it quite that much. But here we go. I've been dying to open this up. I bought the uh, I bought the detector itself. And I bought the lightning detector. So we got these two pieces. We're going to try to integrate them today. And we're going to see how this goes. What do you think? All right. Here we go. This is the lightning detector. We'll move it off to the side. Haven't opened it yet. Guess it came with no tape. So there's that. This looks like it's the hub. Open that in a minute. This looks like it's, I don't know what it is. Don't know. There's that. There's that. Look at the, let's look at the mama first. Well, I got a plan for putting this up, and we'll see how that goes. All right, bucks. So I need a tube to fit this. That I haven't figured out yet. So I need a tube. That we're gonna have to work on. And more tape. Yay. There's this, and it's supposed to do solar. Or plug it in. I'm not gonna unplug this because I don't wanna well, I want it to do solar. If not, I'm gonna have to add another solar because it's going to be in the yard across. Uh, away from the house, anyway. Got a little screen in there. See that? That helps, I guess, detect the something. Got little bumpies here. I can see spiders crawling in there. This is supposed to detect rain. Uh, they have these things that that stick up around the outside to keep birds off of it. I might have to get that. Don't know. This looks like that's how you tighten it and mount it on something. But you gotta have a pipe that fits in there. All right. Then we're gonna do something like that. What do we got here? This power plug, Ethernet. Oh, this must be for that thing, huh? We got some pins. Is there a place to put pins in here? Oh, pins. Cable clamps. 
big cable clamp. I wonder. I don't see any holes in here. This is like a rubber. That's cool. Maybe you stick the pins around the outside like that. Hmm. Maybe it does have a built-in bird thing. That'd be good. Uh, power. Up the hub. This rattles. <laughs> oh, awesome. Sensor link. Sensor. Probably for something. There's a barcode which you probably shouldn't see. Let's, uh, we got something to cover it up. I guess not. If it shows up, then I'll have to, uh, I'll just have to kill you all. If I see that on camera. Well, oh, wait, well, I could block it. But we'll, we'll see. But, uh, I haven't set a password yet. I'll set a password after you guys are gone. Should be able to just do a login here. Here we go. Interval, one minute. I can set up an under underground, weather cloud. Oh, okay. So I'll set these up. Um, I'm assuming you like to look at weather underground or weather cloud or whatever. And you get your ID and your key and you plug them in and they'll send the data up. So I plan on sharing my data. So that'll go up. I'm not going to do that here. I don't think it pays to go through all this. I think you guys can do it just fine. If you have trouble... You can contact me on Discord, and I can help you there, one-on-one. -on -one. I don't really want to share my information, but this looks like pretty straightforward, how to set this stuff up. I'm probably going to set it all up, and then uh, see what it does later. I'm probably I'm going to have to set up this EcoWit one, and I'm probably going to do it offline, because I'm looking at the instructions on the sheet, and it looks pretty straightforward. You go to the site, you get your stuff, you put your bundle numbers in, and you go. So I think that's going to be easy enough. Um, let's look at what else we got here. Device settings. If your weather transmitter, okay, I don't have that kind. Frequency, RF915, I think that's what I bought. Auto time zone, got it right. Got the time right. Automatically upgrade firmware. Oh, there's an upgrade available right now. <laughs> Let's do the upgrade right now. We'll just start at the upgrade. Log in because I have no password. Device setting. Oh, as you can see, I'm getting data. Um, automatic turn on. I'm going to turn it on. I'm just going to do it. So a lot of different sensors, moisture sensors, temperature and humidity, local temperatures, leak detectors, apparently. Leaf wetness. That's weird. Okay, you can see it's trying to update. I can't find it. So that confirms that this don't work without batteries and that don't work without batteries, which is really going to annoy me. So let me get some batteries in these and I'll be back. Let's go over here to the desk. I see that power consumption Solar panel built in. So when it's up and running in the sun, it'll work. And there's a backup battery. Two double A's. So the two double A's go in the hole. They're supposed to be lithium non-rechargeable. That's for the main unit. These are not lithiums. I'm going to have to change them. But I got the springy on that side. So that one goes that way. And the tip goes there. So I think I need these 
now because this thing has been in the box, right? I don't have any, I don't have any uh, charge in the battery. Now we have sensor data here. And if we look on there, we have battery full sensor data. All right. Well, let's do this one. This is the lightning detector. Right. I don't know if it lights up or anything, but let's look at this monitor, right? And look, lightning sensor detected. Doesn't know about the battery, apparently. Well, well it should have a pretty good signal since it's right effing there. All right, now, now it knows about it. Okay, tell us all, well, let's look at live data. Let's look at live data. Oh, we got live data, lots of live data. All right, well, we're kind of waiting for that. So I'll show you what I got in my mind. This old porcelain bucket here Let's go pick this old white porcelain bucket with some dents is unsellable. It's going to be a craft project. I do have a little rust hole in it, I think, which I should probably plug up, but probably won't. This, what I got is last summer I had some uh, ash trees that need to be cut down. I still am in the process of cutting it down. I still have the lift. And one of the trees is about this big around, a little bit smaller. I left it up about 15, 20 feet. And this is going to go over the top of the tree to kind of protect it from rotting. And this is going to be mounted here. So I have to find a way to weld a piece of one inch pipe on the top of this. So that's going to be our next test. Let's, let's go do that. Okay. Hopefully it won't be too wiggly there. But here's what we got. This is the Eco Wet. Here's an old piece of galvanized I found. One inch. Fits right in there. So I can clamp this on there. Right? Well, that's good. And I can fit it over this side so I can weld this side down. So, put that down. My plan is then, see here I have a piece of flat stock with some other crap on it. And this I can wiggle over the top of that. So I'll take this. Weld it to this, and then this will bolt to the top of this. All right. That's the plan. Let's get to it. Grinding on this. Can't 
really get in there. Let's tap this on. We got there, that's okay. Oh no, that's the, that's that bevel, okay. And I ground most of the galvanized off, but some of it's gonna stink. Cause me some cancer, but you know, I'm an old guy. Bit of red. on here and Chucky you're gonna like this Chucky watch this you take this and stick it the vice you take the vice grips and you loosen it awesome right most of these drills I got from like Rummy sales and Habitat for Humanity, and they don't always come with chucks. Put this in here. That is more. A couple of holes in here. Further. And the bucket. There's a rust mark here. This is porcelain. Really a bitch to drive drill through. But there's a chip. So that chip is right about in the right place. One of my bucks. So we're going to go for it. in there put this in there and hold it roughly centered don't have to be perfect and then I'm gonna chip that out we're gonna chip that porcelain off of there I found that dr drilling through that porcelain, which I have had to for craft projects, makes the drill jump immediately. No more holes. All right. Hope number two. These are anti. Uh, Anti, see the nuts. They're like they have like big backs on it, and they have like teeth on it. So like anti shake nuts. These would be perfect in here. You don't have to worry about anything. Kind of want to seal that, so I might seal this hole up. Oh, holes on the side. The reason I need holes on the side is because this is going to go over the tree, and I need to screw it in a few places. So here's a spot where there's there was a well, and there's not now. Now you say, oh, you chipped all that. That's 
That's gonna rust. Yep. Okay, this looks like a little bend here that I need to get out so that the water runs out, doesn't like collect there. I found out that spray cans don't care if they freeze. They probably don't because they're under pressure. But they could stay all over winter in Wisconsin anyway. And no ill effects. That's gonna go up. I gotta find some silicone RFDV stuff first, I guess. So we'll leave that dry for a little while. I'll come back, see you in a few minutes. Okay. Now we're outside. Yes. Look what we have here. A 45 foot man lift. Sitting in my yard. Because I had a ash tree that died. And an ash tree that died, and an ash tree that died. There's the stumps. Small one, big one. And guess what I got there? An ash tree that's dying, and three more ash trees that don't know they're dying. So, yep, this is fun. This is great fun. This is going to get some of its firewood, some of it's chopped up for grit. There's firewood, there's firewood, there's firewood for days, for years, forever. But, I still have the man lift. So. Alright. First thing I'm going to do... Seal up these holes. Now this is E6000. This isn't the perfect thing for this, but it works. This is black. My wife don't really like the black. Therefore, I can get it away with using it sometimes. So, gunk up that hole that was there. Gunk up these holes. I just want to keep the water off the top of the tree so the tree don't rot. That's the biggest reason for the bucket and everything. All right. Close enough. Now, let's take this, mount this on here, made it dirty already, well that's such is life. I gotta figure out which way is north. North is that way. So this is gonna have to go up kind of like that, so that's so that this face is north. Alright. That's good, good enough. Let's uh let's start this up. Make sure it's good and warmed up so it don't die on me. Because if it dies on me, I'll be skinny minging down that. We have to get up there. Let's 
going there. I can turn it later, but that's roughly north. I want it to be roughly f flat. Alright. Solid. I mean, that thing looks a little bit in the wind. Now, I still got those crappy batteries in here. So, gotta change those. I wanna find a solar panel, hook it to this. That's a heater to keep the ice off of it. All right, let's come back. <laughs> Be a shame to come this far and not go for an actual ride, right? Wanna see the city of Waukesha? Knee is up. That's pretty much straight up. Now I can extend the boom. I don't need to. <laughs> I don't want to. Because there's the roof of my house. There's the roof of the neighbor's house. There's the city of Waukesha. And there's a tree that's going to die. Kind of cool. I was up, you know, I was up higher than this. Trimming this trimming those trees and the tree that I just put this on. So, yeah, this is fun. Sometimes, a little bit. Let's go down. Here we go for a bumpy ride. Set the knee down. Alright. That's all the way down. There's my weather station. Okay, so I'm back inside and I think I figured out some problems maybe, but as you can see, I have live data, the sun, the wind, I got to make sure that that's tweaked exactly right. I got to bring, I got to put some batteries back up there. I got some ordered, some lithium based batteries ordered that I'm going to put in there. Uh, the battery is charging. There's been no lightning, all this stuff. These, these, this sensor is coming from this thing. Now I was having trouble connecting to Home Assistant, and this guy was blinking, which means it wasn't. Re this wasn't really connected, even though it was connected, but it wasn't. So I can't can't figure out exactly what was going on there. I could talk to it, but it wasn't happy, and it wasn't happy. So let's look at. Can I connect to it now? 
And if I look, it's it's happy now, and the light's on. So I want to go to Weather Services. Um, so I set this up. And if I look, is that somewhere? All right. This is up as this is me uh, in the EcoWit cloud, sending them my data. And there's my data. All that stuff. So it's talking, it's up, it's talking up in the cloud. So now let's try this again. Settings. And then integrations. Go over here. Do that integration for EcoWit. And it looks like it's maybe CD EFG, so it's not there. So all right. You go with bang submit it's going to give me this now i'm going to do this through the web interface and don't worry i'll change this all right and that and that so i'm going to go into the web interface now i can just hit finish here i have to go into the app which is here go into weather services Enable, select EcoWit, select the IP address without the HTTP in there because I was testing that. Put in a new webhook. And I'm going to leave that slash in there because it says if you're using the app, which I assume means using the phone app, you take that out. But if not, then you leave it in there. 8123, I set that to 61 just so it was something different. And save. Uh, assume it's saved and say it's saved. Let's go somewhere else like live data. Yeah, and live data is still there. Let's go back into weather services. That seems like it's still there. Now let's go back into home assistant. EcoWit on device. And I got all this stuff. Yes. So it's all imported into here, including lightning. And there's the thing. Oh, my wife left work on her home way home soon. So that's where I wanted to get today. I managed to get the device hooked up. I got the lightning detector here. I didn't put that outside yet, but it'll work even in here. I got it up on the pole. I have it working. I have stuff in there. I'm not going to do any integrations and stuff. I'll probably do a couple integrations. That, oh. So that's Home Assistant telling me that she left work. That's in uh, a blueprint I have if you're interested. I'll put a link in there down below. So I got everything working the way I wanted it to before I go on vacation. So everything is cool. If this has helped you, uh, leave me a like. If not, leave me a like anyway. Leave me a comment. I try to reply to all of them. So uh, comments help me in the in the youtube magic numbers so nothing else just go to the comments and say you're a duma or something <laughs> or you know cut your hair <laughs> whatever i'm good with that because it helps me on youtube if you have any questions i'm on discord links are in the stuff below and uh i have a patreon if you want to help me out that way That'd be great. Otherwise, I have going up to the cottage in a couple days. I'm going to have a few videos up there, including the conclusion to the one that I, my last video from eight months ago, where I was dealing with the water heater up north. I'm going to be finishing that. I have the servo control finished. So 
that was an adventure. So we'll go over that when I get up north. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. And I hope the weather is fair wherever you're headed. Bye.